I can't believe it was eight years ago that Joe came to Hollywood Park and I actually remember him winning his very first race and the first kind of time that he saw Elizabeth, I think it's sort of safe to say it was love at first sight for Joe. I, I couldn't take my eyes off of her, I was, didn't know who she was and uh, I knew I wanted to meet her one day. He knew he wanted to take her on a date, he wanted to get to know her and meet her from the second he stepped foot out at the track there. And all of a sudden, Joe asked me, he says, uh, do, you know, do, you, do you know Ron Ellis? And I go, well, yeah, I know Ron Ellis. And he goes, oh, well, do you know his daughter, Elizabeth? I said, yeah, I know Elizabeth. I've known her since she was born. And, you know, so I just thought, well, I said, why, are you interested in Elizabeth? Oh, well, you know, I just, you know, he, he just kind of like quizzing me on her a little bit. So the first memory that I have of Elizabeth and Joe is um, in Elizabeth's parents' house and she was telling me about this guy from the track that was sending her MySpace messages. Um, that's how long ago this was. At the time before Facebook, they had MySpace, which I don't even think they have anymore, but I, I didn't even know what it was. And um, I knew she was on it. I heard through the grapevine. So I made one. I had no friends on it. And, uh, and I was searching Elizabeth Ellis to try and find her, and it was like 1,500 of them like Elizabeth Dallas is throughout the United States. So I searched through every one of them and I finally found her and I clicked it and I asked her to like be my friend. So I'm like, oh, that's nice. But I click on his page and he had zero friends. So it was pretty obvious he had made the MySpace just for me. So the very first one is from May 8th, 2007. And it says, hey Elizabeth, it's Joe. I was just making a new MySpace page and was searching and found yours, how's everything? Um, which is code for, I made one because I wanted to talk to you. And she's like, how did you find me? I'm like, oh, just like, I don't know. <laughs> so I see Elizabeth a couple days later and I said, oh, I know some, some news that you might want to know. What's that? I said, some guy's been asking about you. She says, who? I said, Joe Talamo. No way. I said, I'm telling you. Joe Talamo, no, what did you tell him? I, well, I, I lied, I told him, you, you know, you're a nice girl and this and that. No, I didn't, I told him what a nice girl you were. But he seemed interested, so don't be surprised if he's gonna ask you out. He said, if you want, we can go eat breakfast Sunday morning after training to kill some time. Um, that was the one I read, and the next five minutes was me begging her to go out with him, saying like, this guy seems so nice and you need to give him a chance and it's just breakfast and what's the worst thing that could happen? And she just kept saying, no, I'm not gonna do it. No, I'm not gonna do it. Every afternoon when we were at the races, because we worked together, if Joe won a race, or even if he hit the board, he'd have to come up and weigh out. And where he would go up on the scale was right near where we would sit. And Elizabeth, if he won a race, would sort of start to turn her chair and like give him the cold shoulder a little bit at the beginning. And he'd come up there every time, big smile on his face. Hey, Elizabeth, how you doing? Trying to talk to her, trying to kind of get her to give him some attention. And I think eventually she couldn't really resist it anymore. He wouldn't leave me alone. So eventually it started getting harder and harder to come up with excuses. So I thought, fine, I'll go on one date with him and then that'll be the end of it. So I asked my dad if I could go on a date with Joe Talamo. One day she, uh, she was going to bed and I 16 years old and says, can I go on a date with Joe? I go, uh, who's Joe? I'm trying to think of all of her high school buddies and friends that she went out with. And, uh, <laughs> and she, I go, Joe who? And she goes, Joe Talamo? I go, <laughs> he's a jockey. Of course you can't go out with him. What a, no way. All right, well, the first time I ever even heard about Joe, I was trying to sleep. And Ron's tossing and turning and causing a ruckus. And I'm like, is something wrong? Something bothering you? And he sat up all in a huff. And he was like, gosh darn. Or something like that, to that effect. Some jockey just asked Elizabeth out. And I was like, so? And I was like, well, who? Because I was worried it might have been Lafitte or Mike or somebody like that. So he said, some kid, some kid named Joe. And I was like, well, how old is he? at 17. It's like, well, what's wrong with that? But it was still he's a jockey, and I wasn't really happy with that. I've heard my dad was like, she cannot date a jockey. Like, 
none of you can date a jockey. Da, da, da. And I'm just like, well, now I'm dad's favorite because I won't date a jockey. <laughs> So Joe had only been in town a couple of weeks and it must have been love at first sight because uh, he wasn't here very long before he asked her out. And uh, I didn't know him at all, seemed like a nice kid, but uh, I told Elizabeth, I said, let me get to know him a little bit, find out what he's all about. And if he, if he kind of checks out, I'll let, uh, why don't you go out with him at Del Mar on your first date. And so uh, Elizabeth, being the great kid she is, she's like, okay. After my dad started getting to know Joe, he said, you know what, Elizabeth, if he still wants to date you during Del Mar, then go ahead. And I thought, perfect. It's May, Del Mar doesn't start till end of July. There's no way he'll still be around by then. I think that Elizabeth didn't like Joe at first. It's not that she didn't like Joe at first, I think she was just afraid. I don't think she knew what to expect and Joe was just this this random guy she'd never met before. It's not like she met him through friends or anything, so I think that's what made her a little apprehensive. I think she was interested from the very beginning, but she was trying to kind of follow what her parents had told her about the jockeys and being careful and being as mature as she always is. After all the MySpace messages, after all of her denying that she didn't like him and us stalking him, um, the first week of their relationship was in Del Mar at his condo one night after we had gone out to dinner, Joe was desperate for alone time with Elizabeth, so he told us that we were all gonna play hide and go seek. And, but we had to go, him and Elizabeth were gonna count. <laughs> and Joe called her when we were about to go to sleep, and I remember he was like, who is your first kiss? Who is your first kiss? And. Elizabeth just kept saying, oh, I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you. She just hung up the phone and I'm like, Elizabeth, why didn't you just tell Joe? I mean, what's the big deal? And she was like, I don't want to tell him that he was my first kiss. So literally a week after dating, Joe turns to me and he says, I love you. The first time I said I love you, we, we, uh, we were hanging out together and uh, after a week and a half of dating, <laughs> and I told her I loved her. And I was in so much shock that I just stared at him. And it probably went on for about, it felt like a long time, probably 10 seconds of silence. And then finally, he broke the silence. And I said, uh, I'm just kidding. And she stared at me again and I said, um, no, I'm kidding about kidding. And then she stared at me more and I'm like, wow, uh, forget I even said that, I'm sorry. <laughs> It was pretty awkward, but I, I, I did love her. Elizabeth was telling me and my girlfriend how we thought, she thought that things were moving too fast, so we helped her plan a text message to him, telling him to slow things down a little. And his response was basically, okay, sounds good, love you. Like, did not get it at all. The relationship evolved rather quickly, you know. Um, I thought this guy from Louisiana, my friend's neighbor, was like, ah, it's a far reach to get Elizabeth. But they had a, they had a chemistry going on. A couple of times after they went out, she finally admitted it to us, to myself and to Anna, that they had been on a few dates. And we knew from the first time she was telling us after they had spent some time together that she was really interested in him. And I guess the rest is history, you could say. We both began really focusing on our careers. I was um, trying to graduate in three years, commuting to San Francisco on the weekends. He was winning literally a thousand races. We were always each other's biggest fans, but we didn't really understand that relationships take a lot of time and effort. So when I came back from South Dakota after two years of being there, we kind of sat down and asked ourselves, you know, is this, is this over? And it kind of both dawned on us at the same time that, no, we don't want this to end. Like, why is this ending? We want to make it work, and we want to make it work forever. Joe asked me to go to dinner, and I'm getting the feeling he's going to ask uh, for Elizabeth to marry him. Uh, this time I, was, I went from hell no to hell yeah, because I didn't want her uh, now having to resume her career and move on to uh, state South Carolina or somewhere back east. I want, uh, we wanted our little baby home, and uh, by this time, Joe's part of our family anyway. I mean, if, uh, if Joe and Elizabeth ever had have broken up, Joe would have still been coming over to dinner. Amy loves him, I love him. He would have still been part of the family. So, uh, they, like I said, we went from hell no to hell yeah. 
he called me and said, I did it. And I said, what'd you do? <laughs> and he goes, I'm, I'm engaged. And I go, and I thought it was a joke. And I'm like, hey, you gotta, you gotta send me a, you gotta send me a picture. I told him to send me a picture of the ring and all that. I said, you're lying, you didn't do it. You're such a baby, this and that. And, uh, but he did it and I was so proud of him because I know that he was you know, chasing after what he wanted. So that's good. I'm so happy to have been there and seen the first couple of dates you went on and the spark in the chemistry that you guys had eight years ago is still right there. He's so, he seems so carefree. I mean, he works hard, but he's very carefree and she's always been so perfectionist. I don't know, I always thought that like he probably brought out more of a like carefree side in her and it, like it made her like have a little more fun. Um, so I think she needed that and I think she definitely keeps him in check a lot um, Like whenever he's like crazy because he's like the life of the party So she keeps them all together, too So I mean, I think it's a good balance and they are just gonna be amazing parents and amazing as a couple And I love them both so so much and I am so happy for them Elizabeth and Joe I'm so so excited and I'm so honored to be part of the big day and I, I just want to tell Joe that I was Elizabeth's first friend, but I'm so happy that you're her best friend. And Elizabeth, I can't say enough great things about you. If you were in my wedding, you're my daughter's godmother, I want both my girls to grow up to be just like you. She, she's very cool. And at the same time, she doesn't care if I go do my own thing with the guys. I don't care if she does her, her own thing with the girls. And at the end of the day, it, it all works out. He never has a bad day and it's really just contagious and it makes life so much fun. And really, you know, you go to bed with a smile on your face and you wake up with a smile on your face. So what more could you ask for? I mean, I just love her so much. I can't wait to, uh, to marry her. I know it's gonna be a fun time, a fun wedding. And uh, can't wait to see what, what else happens in our life.